Welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And today we're going to be talking about some of the tools that you're going to need if you're going to be in the woods, survival, camping, covers just about anything and everything. Right down to the little dinky small little knives. So that's coming up next on Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Stay tuned. So welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And as you all saw before, we're going to be talking about tools. And some of the tools that you may need if you're going to be out in the woods or if you're in a survival situation or maybe you're just going on a camping trip. Some of these things you're probably gonna to wanna to pick up and you're probably gonna to wanna to have some of these on hand. Some of them you don't wanna leave home without. We'll get to those in a minute. So let's start off with the first thing. The good old bull saw. All right, this is a um, Culligan's. It's a collapsible, very simple to use. Folds all the way around. You just gotta line up the little ends there so she'll slide right through like so. Then you just have to take and line up the screw inside, pop it on. And then once you pop it on, you bend it over, you lock it in place, and you have yourself a folding bandsaw that you can take out. Very sharp, just like one you would have if you bought a regular one that doesn't collapse. <clears throat> and these are relatively inexpensive. Uh, just about everything that I'm gonna be showing you today um, will cost you less than, um, everything except for a couple, two things, will cost you less than 40 bucks. So this is gonna be a good little video for the beginners. Fold this back around, and voila, she's all locked in place. There you go. It'll fit right through your backpack. In the back on a, on a Mopac, it'll slide right through those. Good to go. Got you a saw. Next, <clears throat> now I've, I've talked about uh, SOG and a couple of my videos. Now I'm not uh, getting uh, anything from them or anything else. Um, but they make a lot of good beginner stuff, all right? Now, when you do get this stuff, it is dull. So you're going to have to sharpen it yourself. Um, I sharpened this before my trip last year. It does come with a little sleep. And you can just lock right in. She wraps right around. And they're, they're, they're really good. It's really sturdy. Um, all their stuff is really well made. And like I said, it is very good for the beginner, okay? Now, moving on with the same type, <clears throat> Harskavana. Um, this I paid uh, $95 for, all right? Now, I didn't go cheap on an ax because, you know, it's just something you didn't want to go cheap on. Now, when I got this, this sucker was razor sharp. And uh, it is very well made. It's a good, you know, good heavy little ax, nice big. As you can see here so it's it's a really 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 good axe and like I said the nice thing was is when it came I did order mine and it came with the, the sheath that came with it and it was sharp when it came which <clears throat> for some reason you're gonna find that that's very rare um, for things to come already sharp and ready to go uh, most of the time you get this stuff and you got to sharpen it it's either dull or barely sharp at all you know so it's going to need sharpening there are a few things that i have bought that didn't require that and that was one of them and like i said that was a little under a hundred bucks all right so that was the most expensive thing on this table that you saw all right moving right along <clears throat> if you're going to be out in the woods especially if you're not going to be on a trail or something um, i would highly suggest having a machete 
a machete has several different, you know, you can chop with it, you can split with it, uh, you clear brush with it, you clear a trail, um, it does have the saw blade in the back. It's just going to be your friend all the way around. Um, so if you're going to be going in a situation where uh, it's just like a, not a normal camping trip, you want to make sure that you've got a machete. All right, save yourself the trouble. How many times again do we watch either our YouTube videos, TV shows, or anything else, and everybody's trying to cut through the branches and the brush and everything else? You know, just bring a machete. You know, you just chop it away, and you can get through there without, you know, killing yourself, ripping your pack, cutting yourself. You know, it just makes everything so much easier. All right. <clears throat> now a pole. All right, so this is made for debarking a tree. All right, so you know, if you this would be more of a survival tool. All right, so if you had to debark something, if you're building something out in the woods and stuff like that, um, this would come in really handy. And this did come uh, pretty sharp as well. And this was about $65. They make them in all different sizes. Um, you can find them all over the place uh, some of them do this one came with this little rubber strap that went on here to cover up the blade but it doesn't stay on so it's like useless i have to find one that's uh more like a leather and that way there it'll stay on and maybe i can you know it's got some snaps or something to protect it <clears throat> all right let's get into a few knives now this knife right here this this basically is your survival knife all right this is this is a um if somebody's coming after you, this is the knife that you want to get. You know, it's a, it's a double blade on both sides. Um, this one is dull. When you buy them, they're dull. You know, it's from M-Tech. You know, it's the same as this right here. All right. But this one came sharp, but this one came dull. Go figure. I, I, don't, I just don't get it. But this is more of your, your um, protection. If you're in a bad situation and you need protection, that's more of a knife you want to go with as far as that goes. My MOA, I just can't say enough about, you know, my MOA knives. I mean, they're just all around a great knife. Comes with a nice little case. Does have a hole in the bottom. It's, it's solid plastic. This one here does have the um, fire rod on it. So you can strike that does have a small sharpener on the side also um, I haven't used this I, I use a, a regular I have a different stone and stuff that I use but it does have this right on here if you needed to sharpen something really quick um, <clears throat> back to this little knife here this is an M tech and it's a little neck knife and it's just a small little thing but when it came it's sharp it's like, why doesn't you know, the other, same company, but, you know, and this is nice because you can just put it around your neck and it's right there in case you need something real quick. You know, um, I don't, self-defense, it's a pretty small blade, but I mean, it would work in a sense. Um, but, you know, just if, you know, you're doing something, say you're trying to, you're cutting line, you're, you're trying to cut something up or whatever, you know, you got a quick little knife right there and it's really razor sharp. <clears throat> All right, moving on over. This one is a, uh, a mozzie oak, all right? Now this is a, that's a big knife, all right? Now you can see the thickness on that knife. Now this knife would be really good, obviously, you know, it comes with the, run it right through your belt loop and everything else. Um, but this would be good if you had to split wood or something like that. I mean, it's nice and it's thick and it goes all the way through and um, it's going to take a beating. So this way here, you know, if you needed to cut some wood and you needed to get some stuff done, uh, that would be a very good knife to do that with. Now, this knife over here, this one was given to me. Um, <clears throat> it, it's called a Defender Extreme. Now, if you guys can see that, all right, it's made in China. Go figure, huh? All right, now... This, when you look this up, uh, it's okay. It's only like a $15 knife, all right? And there's not really much to it. You know, like I said before, it is dull and it is concave like this. And they put it off as their deer hunting knife. Um, it does have 
a nice piece of paracord and stuff attached to it and it goes around the whole handle here I don't know exactly how many feet where that would be um, it doesn't say on the website um, the handle grip as far as if the paracord's there is pretty nice I mean there's a place there for your thumb I can see where maybe if you had to you know uh, clean a deer or something like that a wild animal uh, that may work uh, you're definitely going to have to sharpen that sucker back up um, like I said this knife was given to me it's just not one of my cup of tea knives but in a sense it would work in a pinch okay we're getting down there's just a few more knives here to talk about all right we're going to start off with the French now the French really know what they're doing all right they really know what they're doing when they make knives all right this is a uh, open out all right it's just this little knife okay it could be a pocket knife all right it's a little big but I mean it still could be a pocket knife has a twisting mechanism right here that locks it all right now when you order one of these this is a number seven okay number seven knife when you get this bad boy you order it on Amazon they'll ship it right to you all right less than 20 bucks and that thing there you could scan anything now I would use that if I was hunting and I needed to skin a deer skin whatever a turkey whatever it is you're hunting you know maybe it's a raccoon maybe whatever it is fish fillet fish you know leave it to the French to come up and make sure that when you receive a product it is razor sharp so under 20 bucks they have different sizes and a lot most of them all are under 20 bucks now you can spend a little bit more if you want you can actually get a little pouch that this will go into and it does connect to your belt all right now we all know about Swiss Army knives all right now as a kid most people all you know most guys you know you always wanted a Swiss Army knife when you were a kid you know it was probably the first thing that you wanted you know it was the biggest thing back in the day all right now I bought mine this one right here doesn't really have too many attachments to it um, it's got your um, your main blade and it's got small blade and then two small you know it's like a little you got a screwdriver at that end another can opener and this side here is same thing only just a little bit smaller then the back side is my corkscrew this knife is really old there's some of these things that haven't been opened in years and then just my my punch so that's all it's on this one you know you got four on this side and two on this side there's six you know six things on here so nowadays you can go on Amazon and actually I have one that I'm looking at and you can go on Amazon and you can spend uh, some of these uh, Swiss Army knives right now are running like three four hundred bucks it's just ridiculous it has I mean the thing is like this wide you know I mean there's no way you're gonna carry that in your pocket but it's got every tool known to man on it you probably could fix your car so but the one I'm looking at you know it does have quite a few more attachments it's like 80 bucks so what I did was is I put it in my cart my Amazon cart and I leave it there and save it for later all right now this is the trick people all right this is how you can get around you have to trigger the algorithm with Amazon all right because all these companies have algorithms now they know that you have said item in your cart all right now don't forget that if you notice every once in a while every day or two you're gonna get notified that certain items in your card have either increased or decreased and you go in there and you keep watching them and what I do is a lot of my stuff I don't pay a full price for I wait till them to lower the price more than a few pennies because you're gonna get that they're gonna throw that thing out you're gonna think oh, I got a deal and boom yeah that's only a couple pennies you know um, but you know the next thing you know they take 10 20 bucks off of it you know because the play prices do fluctuate that much believe it or not you know and they can take and uh, that's when you want to buy your products so you throw everything in your save for later cart and uh, play the game with Amazon they love it he's rich he's got enough money so 
Swiss Army Knife is probably, you know, one of the most um, multi-tools that are out there as far as, you know, what you can get on there and how much money you really want to spend. Now, this pocket knife right here is, is pretty old. It was my, my father's. And um, when it boils right down to it, you could go and buy yourself a $10 pocket watch. I mean, not a watch. You can get a watch right there. You want to get a knife, we'll get back on track here. And that could be the difference between survival and not surviving. Because, you know, I mean, you got two blades. That's all that comes on this thing, all right? <clears throat> and this side here used to be, used to be a file, um, but that's pretty much gone. I'm guessing my father must have used the crap out of it and a bottle opener and then just your standard knife. Now, my father did keep all his knives razor sharp, all right? So, I mean, I don't use this. I don't carry it around with me because, you know, I don't want anything to happen to it because it's older than me. But the point of this is, is a small pocket knife could save you in a survival situation. If you had some way to clean fish, if you had some way to clean a rabbit, um, trim some bark or something, if you needed to make some twine, um, just little things, but that could be a lifesaver. And a little $10 pocket knife that you can just throw right in your pocket could be the difference of life and death. So, now we're gonna throw in a couple bonus things. So if you are going on a camping trip, or you're going on a hiking trip, um, you're going tracking out through the woods and stuff and everything else, you wanna make sure that you have some type of protection with you, you know, in case of a wild animal or whatever else. So you wanna make sure that you have a thing of mace. Now, if you're going to bear country, you want bear spray, not mace, but you want bear spray. And it's different, different size, you know, the whole nine yards. But at least if you have something for some type of a self-defense against a wild animal or just some idiot out in the woods, mace is the way to go. This way you keep yourself out of jail. Now the next thing is a compass. If you're going to be going on a trip and you're going to... Um, you're going camping, you're going hiking, uh, you're hiking a long trail, you're doing whatever, you know, you want to make sure that you learn how to use one of these bad boys, all right? It's pretty simple once you get it down, Pat, you're going to have to watch quite a few videos and, and make sure that you understand at least how to use your bearings and your eyepiece here so that you can... You know, you get a bearing on something and that's where you want to keep heading towards. You know, it, it's just a, a standard thing that I think anybody that is going to be going out into the woods should have um, in their pack, on themselves, or whatever else, you know. And now this is another little item, you know, um, when it comes down to your compasses that you can spend a lot of money on. You know, I think this one here cost me about 40 bucks. You know, they get real expensive and, you know, some of them will do a lot of things and everything else and it's all in what your comfort zone is. So, this has been Survival Preparedness for Beginners and today we have been talking about some of the gear and uh, tools that you're going to need if you're going to be going out into the woods, if you're going on a camping trip, or if you're going on a hiking trip, or if you're just going out for the day. Or maybe you're hiking a long trail and you're going to be gone for a few months. But you're going to need some of these things here on this table to make sure that you make a successful trip, you survive, and you get back home safe. Because that's what it's all about. We want to go out and have fun, but you want to make sure you're getting home safe. Now, if it's a survival situation and the end of the world has come, well then, all bets are off. And you need these tools to survive, defend yourself, and make sure that you can kill something and eat it. Point blank. So, survival preparedness for beginners. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.